Hello guys, this episode is about aerobic vaginitis. Now aerobic vaginitis is different from bacterial vaginitis. It's a distinct uh, entity, uh, but hasn't really been recognized as such until around about uh, 2002. Um, and so what is aerobic vaginitis? Well, it's very, very common. Um, and in some respects, it does share similarities with bacterial vaginosis even. And it's a very, very common uh, infection. It's uh, been around for obviously uh, a very long time and it's just an overgrowth of one type of bacteria compared to another. If you uh, have too much of a, a bad bacteria in the vagina, it pushes out the good bacteria and then it can lead to a discharge. But the difference there stops because in aerobic vaginitis, uh, the bacteria pushing out the good bacteria don't live in the vagina naturally. They are more commonly found, for example, in the bowel. That's why you don't want to do, for example, you don't want a courtesy flush. And so uh, it's important um, that if you are getting a discharge and you're also getting a sore uh, vulva and vagina uh, that you see a doctor because it may be aerobic vaginitis and you need a different set uh, of treatment uh, for it as well. So the treatment tends to be clindamycin. Uh, this tends to uh, help soothe the vagina as well as get rid of the bad bacteria and then you can use uh, probiotics uh, uh, after a well, after any uh, antibiotic course, you'd always use probiotics, uh, and this will help repopulate the vagina with good bacteria. Okay, um, I wouldn't advise uh, home treatments for aerobic vaginitis uh, because of the type of bacteria involved, and I would suggest you go and get it reviewed by someone experienced in treating uh, different types of vaginoses, and these are usually people in your family planning centre or in a sexual health clinic. So. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, vaginosis, then I suggest you watch this video about bacterial vaginosis. Take care and uh, have good sexual health. Bye-bye.